Well, hello, I'm Jonathan Milam, and I have got a huge, I'm going to show you a bass trumpet today, which is like a congested trombone, and um, this is what a bass trumpet looks like. Just kidding. This is a pocket trumpet, and while it will not fit in a pocket, it is small. Compared to a normal trumpet, you've got the pocket trumpet trying to get the mouthpieces about even, and uh, really, the uh, pocket trumpet comes to about the end of the first valve. So the big uh, claim to fame for a pocket trumpet is portability. It's easy to carry. In fact, even compared to a cornet, you can see how much smaller the pocket trumpet is. And uh, this is what they would look like, the pocket trumpet. And I've got a old special cornet. And here you've got the trumpet and the regular B-flat trumpet and the pocket trumpet. Okay. I uh, thought I'd tootle around on it just a little bit, and I've also got mouthpieces in the trumpet and cornet give you an idea what it sounds like. Uh, it is a harder instrument to play because it's uh, got all the tubing bends, definitely a little more of a uh, work to get a blow out of it. Um, this has a small bell with a small dent in the bell, actually a bend, which I'm going to have to get fixed. But um, I purchased it that way. I never heard horns myself. Everyone else does. But uh, nice valves on this. It's by Dillon Music Store in New Jersey, I believe. And uh, if, while it is a small bell, uh, a regular trumpet mute will fit in it. So it's not bad at all. Having shop problems today, it is cold in Houston. Has been all week long, and uh, I'm just really struggling. But uh, anyway, we'll give it our best shot. <laughs> same song. We'll uh, play just a second on the trumpet to give you an idea of the difference. It is certainly a uh, more mellow sound. of course, a uh, much larger mouthpiece. And again, the pocket trumpet. Okay, now I played on a trumpet from a C to an F, just below the staff to uh, the top note on the staff, and uh, when you go much lower than that, it does become a little more difficult. When you go much higher than that, it becomes much a little more difficult. A lot of guys will use these if they're going to travel. It sometimes is hard to, if you've got a family of suitcases in one vehicle to carry a whole trumpet case, I'll tell you what, the case for this thing is really, uh, obviously, nice and small. In fact, it will fit in a little leather purse, although uh, Dylan does put out a nice case with this. One other thing I did want to show you, I'll show you just to plain again. I've got a, um, Trent Austin puts out a really great mouthpiece. It's called the TATF, very large uh, V-shaped mouthpiece with a nice size throat, probably 24, 25. Gives a very mellow sound. If you wanted to play an intimate gathering, as they say, small jazz feel, I think this mouthpiece and this horn would be uh, really nice. This is a fairly deep, it's going to be just a little bit smaller than a 7C mouthpiece, but fairly deep actually. And I'll give you an idea with this mouthpiece. It's a Marcinkowitz uh, 6, which is uh, about as deep as I ever play on. And then we'll use Trent's uh, custom mouthpiece as well to give you an idea. And then with the deeper mouthpiece.
right, very fun little thing. This is a uh, pocket trumpet. This one is put out by Dylan's Music, and it is a blast to play. Hope you've enjoyed it. Keep in touch. Say hi if you'd like. Bye for now.